We will now do the solution of A, uh, where you can read what it is we wish to show in the exercise text. So the way we go about this is we start with the integral from u to infinity of the probability that y1 is greater than y. And we integrate that with, uh, wait, I think the exercise text is this, right? We integrate that with respect to x. And then we want to show that this is equal to some double integral expression that is shown in the exercise text. In the double integral expression, we see something with log of x. So it is quite natural to believe that maybe we should bring a log into play. Now, one thing that you can note is that y1 is greater than x if and only if log of y1 is greater than log of x. And here, the strict inequality is preserved since log is strictly increasing. Therefore, this probability in here is equal to the probability that log of y1 should be greater than log x. Now, one useful thing to note is that since y1 is log normally distributed, that means that log of y1 is normally distributed with the same parameters. That follows directly from the definition of log normal distribution. Therefore, you have that whatever you have inside here on this side is normally distributed. And you just want to find the probability that something that is normally distributed is greater than log x. That corresponds to integrating over a normal density from log of x to infinity. So you have the outer integral, and then you rewrite this probability as an integral from log of x to infinity, and we have to figure out what to integrate with respect to. Let's just choose y, because that's a nice letter. And what you now want is to integrate the density of a normally distributed variable with parameters m and sigma squared. And that density is given by 1 divided by 2 pi sigma squared multiplied by e to the minus y minus m squared divided by 2 sigma squared. And that was A.